Hey guys, it's me, the mayor again, and today I have a pistol that's worthy of a good explanation. The Sig Sauer P226 stainless. You know, 226 on the grips, you got your mag release, you got your weapon disassembly button, and back here it says 357 Sig. Alright, the 357 Sig. I need to go into explanation about that. Alright, here I've got some ammunition lined up. On my left, I've got 9. In the middle, I've got 357 Sig, and on the right, I've got 45. The 357 SIG was based on a 40 caliber case. This is a 40 cal right here. So you got your 40, you got your 9, and you've got your 357. You can see here the 9, you know, smaller bullet, you know, less powder charge. The 40, you know, you can see it's bigger right there. And the 357 SIG took the case of the 9, or the case of the 40, and the bullet weight, you know, the, you know, the bullet diameter of the 9, and so they created this round right here. See, what the designers wanted to do was they wanted to get a, uh, like, a, a cartridge that would duplicate a revolver's load in a semi-automatic pistol. You know, I mean, semi-automatics, of course, can hold more than revolvers. It's been proven, you know. Um, and the, uh, the 357 SIG was kind of, you know, middle of the road, you know. It's, not, you know, it's not a 9, it's not a 40, it's not a 45, but, you know, it's got the speed of a 9 and it's got a lot of penetration, a lot of punch, mainly because of, you know, the power charge. Here I have a 762 by 25 toke rev round. You know, it's got the same bottleneck principle, you know, high speed 30 caliber bullet, but the 357 SIG has a wider diameter bullet. Now, with the bottlenecking, they say that uh, feeding issues are, like, non-existent with this round, mainly because it's going into a wider chamber, because the chamber has to be, you know, big enough for the whole case. And if a smaller, you know, diameter bullet and casing is going into, you know, your, your feeding ramp, they say it's actually a lot better at feeding, you know, uh, and feeding issues are not a problem. You see, the 30 toke rev... It'll usually go through like light body armor, but the 357 SIG will not. Um, they designed it that way. I mean, you know, I wasn't a designer, so, <laughs> you know, you can tell it to SIG. Capacity wise, you know, 15 with the 9, 12 with the 357, and 7, you know, with the 45. So it's kind of like, you know, a toss up here and there. You know, you want a lot of rounds, you want a medium amount, or you want a low amount of rounds, you know, and different power levels, of course. You know, 357 SIG is just right about in the middle. I'd say that 357 SIG has got a lot of punch. I mean, I've seen, you know, first hand damage of that stuff, and it's pretty potent, guys. All right, well, back to the pistol review. Mag holds 12 rounds, you know, that's quite a bit, you know, about 12, 30, 40, that's three away from the M9. Um, you know, typical SIG, Sour Technology. This is actually based off the SIG 220 pistol. Now, some key features of this. No safety whatsoever. The trigger is your safety. How to decock this pistol if it's cocked like this. There's a little lever right here. You just pull down, and it lets down the hammer safely. Um, this is the slide release. You know, standard grips are interchangeable with, you know, aftermarket, of course. Um, the trigger's kind of strange. It's, you know, real, in double action pull, it's kind of, you know, kind of rough. And single action, well, it's not rough, it's just smooth, but it's kind of, you know, kind of strong. Single action, it's really nice. And these are your sights. These have the tritium in it a long time ago, but, you know, they're gone already. Single action is really crisp. Uh, with SIGs, people usually shoot kind of low with them when they first start. It's just because of the way the trigger is designed, you know, with the uh, kind of like the half moon crescent trigger. You know, a lot of new shooters, they usually shoot kind of low with them. But, you know, it just takes time to get over, you know, to uh, train yourself with the pistol. Alright, these pistols look really identical. This is the 226, this is the 220. The 220 was um, the first successful Sig Sauer, you know, 45 that came out. And I think it was actually the first Sig Sauer pistol. Uh, somebody wants to, you know, correct me on that, go ahead. You know, same basic design, same everything, you know, it looks exactly the same, except for this is single stack on the 45, as I was saying earlier, you know, hold 7 plus 1, and this is the double stack, so the grips are going to be wider than, well, I mean, you can definitely tell here, I mean, these grips are very, very skinny, and I also have the E2 grip upgrade from SigSour.com. Going into a little bit of history on the 226, uh, the 9mm version of this weapon, I mean, because it comes in, I think, three or four different calibers, 9, 40, and 357 SIG, there you go, three calibers. Alright, well, the 9mm version of this pistol actually um, was a competitor to Beretta 
you know, the M9 in the uh, military trials in 1984 when they were trying to replace the 1911. Now, Beretta won because the pistol itself was cheaper, you know, and it was just about as reliable as the SIG. You know, nobody really wants to say which one was more or less reliable, but I'm pretty sure both of those pistols were pretty damn reliable. Uh, the 226, of course, a little bit higher, you know, a little bit more costly. I wouldn't say higher quality, but, you know, about the same quality. Um, it's pretty hefty. You know, same aluminum frame, no polymer except for the grips. That's it. You know, even the mag button, mag release, that is actually a steel. Disassembly is pretty easy, actually. All you have to do is rack the slide back, lock it up just like the Beretta. Now here, there's no pin to push. All you do is slide this down, and it's actually a pretty difficult pin, guys. It'll slide down to a, you know, 45 degree angle from where it was. And you just, you know, push that slide, and it all pops out. You got full rails here and here on the inside of your frame. Also in the back, you have rails. You know, it's pretty nice. You got a little feed ramp. It's not as small as the Beretta's. It's a little bit bigger, you know, the internal feed ramp anyways. Uh, you got your trigger assembly. This, you know, does not have an outside trigger bar like the Beretta. This actually has an internal bar right there, if you can see it. And see, it has a little nub for resetting the trigger. You know, on, on the slide, it's got a uh, it's got a recess in the slide, if you can see on the bottom hand of the, the bottom piece of the slide. All right, recoil spring. You can see here it's a coil in a coil, you know, two coil recoil spring. Oh, this one, ah, man, 357 SIG recoil springs hurt. Golly, a lot stronger than the 40. And the barrel's just one piece. There's no, you know, lugs or anything. Lay that down. Conventional rifling. You know, not too shabby. Uh, feed ramp, you know, of course, they're saying that it's more reliable feeding. Uh, I think that's a fully lugged barrel. Let me check. Yeah, pretty much. You know, there's just a little space in there. Glocks usually have a really big, you know, like, you know, cutout for the, uh, for the feed ramp. It's supposed to make them more reliable, but they've eliminated it over the years because of the whole, you know, Glocks going kaboom in 10 millimeter and 40 cal. Sorry, Glock guys. I just had to throw that in there. <laughs> All right. Well, putting it back together, lay it in, you know. Make sure it lays in nice. Get your spring. Spring fits in the hole. Push forward and be careful. And what, man, once that thing comes out, it'll poke an eye out. All right, lays into the um, oh, to your lug right here. Slide your pistol all the way from the front. And the same thing, pull all the way back. You know, lock it with a slide release. And you'll see the front uh, guide rod go backwards, I believe. There you go. It went backwards just a slight tad. Hit the slide release. Man, this thing's difficult. <laughs> Alrighty, well, there you go. Dropping the hammer, of course. This button right here. Safely drops the hammer. Alright, guys. Well, you know, let's say a uh, review of the SIG 226 and 357 caliber. If y'all guys have any other requests or anything, you know, for any SIGs, you know, I've got a couple of SIGs here, and, uh, you know, just go ahead and leave me a PM or, you know, whatever you want to do. Message me, call me, Facebook me, Twitter me. Hell, I don't care. All right, guys, well, that's the mayor. Thanks for watching.